You know, I remember back when I built this village. I found over there, there was one and a half houses. One whole house and half a house next to it. And it was uh, split vertically. You had one side of the house up until the middle, and then there was nothing. And it had to do with uh, terrain generation and whatnot, uh, and so on. But I remember when I finally found that, and I decided to build a real village. I, I built these for these guys a uh, really great village. It's got you know it's walled in to keep the zombies out. Got a lot of nice houses here. I really particularly like this one. No concern whatsoever about lighting. Always guaranteed to have light. It's made of solid glowstone. <laughs> That's awesome. And then there's this one. Slow sand with uh, nether wart on there. And then there's nether rack with a flaming roof. Let the zombies get up on that one. <laughs> And all of these houses, lots and lots of houses, really nice houses, uh, slab walkways. We have, uh, I mean, how many desert villages have are, are basically a lakeside resort? This is a lakeside resort in the desert. That, that's amazing. And uh, look at these houses. Do you see anybody living in them? No. No. They don't live in... You know, where do they live? They live down here. They live down here. Most of them live there or there. They occasionally go in this house or that house. You see some in here occasionally. There's enough villagers that they've got four iron golems here. See, there's these three here, and let's see, I saw him down here earlier. There was a fourth one over here hanging out by the station for some reason. Well, I don't know where he's gone, but there was a fourth golem over here. So he's around here somewhere. But you'd think these guys would want to live in the nice houses. This is one of the original houses. This is uh, one of the original houses. And this one here, the half on that side, is the other half house that was there. I built all the rest of this. I, I finished that one out the best I could. And then uh, I built all the rest of these. Plenty of doors. You know how these guys like doors? Well, I made sure there was lots of doors. And I put this wall up there to keep the zombies out. And I made sure the place was really well lit. Yeah. Do they show any gratitude and live in these houses? Nope. Not a one of them. Of course, I have a few ideas. I've been reading up on villagers and some of the changes that have been made in the last few versions, I might be able to come up with something that might actually convince these guys to move into some of these other houses. But I'm not worried about that right now. You see, I'm getting ready to build the Iron Foundry. And as a matter of fact, I've even gotten started on some of the basic structure of it. But before I go any further with that... I need to arrange to be able to provide villagers to populate the thing. And these guys are going to be the source. Well, at least the initial source. See, I'm also building uh, Tango's uh, infinite villager spawner. But I need at least three villagers to get it started. And... That won't be a problem. I can take three villagers out of here. No big deal. They'll breed up a few more to replace them. No big. But, how am I going to get them there? Am I going to build a special track to go over there? No, sirree. What I'm going to do, I'm thinking of this as a triple bypass. First up, we 
bypass the station. Let me get that. There we go. I'm going to bypass this station. I'm going to just run some track. Out here, and then I'll run it down here. And uh, I will convince one way or another to convince villagers to get on that track. And let's throw some powered rail here. And so on. And then they will come up here and they will head up this way. Now this track goes over to the mansion station. So let me go ahead and head over there. Because I said there's going to have to be a triple bypass. We're going to have to bypass this station, which I've just done. And then I have to bypass the mansion station. So this track will continue straight on to the main base station. And then I have to bypass that to get to where I want the villagers to go. So, I'll see you at the mansion station. Okay. So, normally when you take that track, you end up right here. And then you've got an option to uh, either go back or to flip this switch and head over to the main station. The villagers aren't very well known for getting out of a cart, flipping a switch, and getting back in and hitting a button. So, we're not going to trust them to do that. That would be silly. Instead... This is the second part of the triple bypass. We're going to bypass this that bit of track here. Actually, I could probably leave those. And instead, I'll just take that out of there. Let's get some cobblestone. And just run this thing up okay that was too high and yeah let's just run it right over here and break that and now all I need to do Some powered rail, some levers, some cobble. Alright, powered rail. Okay, and then as I do, alternate powered rail and regular. And I also do the bit with torches because I want this track lit up, lit up. Now I know a lot of people would just make this whole thing straight powered rail all the way up and they'd use tons and tons of powered rail on it. But I found out a long time ago because I tested when powered rails were first made part of the game. And going up an incline you only need one powered rail every other track going up the incline. On flat, you only need one every 25. Of course, that's if there's a player in there. I don't know if a villager in a minecart is going to behave the same way as a player will. Okay, we'll find out. And if it doesn't power it sufficiently, I will be going behind each villager to give them a shove as needed. All right, now it's time to head over to the main base and do another bypass there. Okay, coming in here, and I believe, yeah, that track right there is the one we need to connect this one to. So that's track four. 
All right. Track one, two, three, and four. Okay. All right. This one right here. And let's see. Okay, that track, I need to temporarily patch it in right here. Okay. Let's see, what is our coordinate here? This is 11 by 226. Actually, this should be fairly easy. Ah, yeah, that'll work. Bingo. Okay. Right idea, wrong implementation. there, track there, and it's bending the right direction. Let's get this one out of the way anyhow. All right. A little bit of cobble and a couple of levers, and we're in business. That's the wrong place. This one will come over here and head over past the site of the iron farm over to where I'm building the uh, villager spawner, which you can just see in the distance, the sandstone structure out there. Okay, and now here, and honestly, I just realized that this is bypassing the track that goes on out to the ice castle. And so that actually, that makes this a quadruple bypass operation. How about that? All right, so the villagers will head up here. And turn, head up this way. And then they'll come along here. To this facility and the first one will be sent down there where the doors are. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe I need to give him a little bit of headroom so that he can actually get in there and then put that block in when it's when he's done. So that'll take care of the first one and then uh, a little bit later on as this thing is built there's a spot right over there where the cursor is where there's going to have to be at least two more villagers in containment there. And this system can be rearranged to deliver one there. So, it looks like everything's in order. So, I'm going to take my minecart and I'm going to head back to the idiot village. And that's a good test of the bypass, if I can go from here all the way to there without stopping at any of the stations, everything will be great. So, I'll see you there, or wherever I get interrupted if that happens. Alright, just coming back into the village now, and I should end up at the end of that track next to the station. And beautiful exactly as intended. Okay. All right. Uh, another powered rail there. 
break that. And I'm going to run this track. I need to do is put down a cart, put down a cart, convince one of these guys to get into it, and give them a shove. And he should end up right there where I need him. What are you going that way for? I need you to collide with a villager. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere without me, without it doing what I want. Oh boy, okay, we got one. Okay. Get him going. Go, go. Get moving, you. Yeah, you would. Be right in the spot that's off the track. And then you ride it off the track. Come on. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, I forgot to power that one. Alright, we won't have that problem again. Yeah, grunt and groan. Okay. I'll see you there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to follow this loser and make sure he gets where I sent him. Well, he seems to be moving pretty quickly. It looks to me like a villager in a minecart gets the same treatment in terms of uh, how far the cart will go as a player in a minecart. At least that's what it looks like. We'll find out. Okay, I'm almost there, and I have not seen him yet. So, I'm thinking... He's either despawned, or he's arrived where I wanted him. Now, I need to jump out before this cart gets in there, because I don't want to go into that spot. Whoa, good timing. Okay. He's right where I want him. Get in there. No, you... You sorry so-and-so. Oh. Look at him go. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's redesign this. Okay. That's the downside of using sandstone. It is so bloody fragile. There. Now, he'll come back down and go in there. Meanwhile, I'm going to have to ride back to the village, because I know that's where he is. That's where I'm going to find him. Okay, here we are. And there he is. Let's send him on his way. And 
and I'm going to follow. I should have done so at a powered rail, but that's okay. All right, I see him just ahead of me. He's just out of render distance. But this time he should arrive exactly where I want him to. We'll see you there. All right, almost back there. And I'm walking because I found out something. Villager in a minecart is indeed faster than an empty minecart. Minecart with a villager in it is faster than a minecart with nothing in it. But not quite as fast as a minecart with a player in it. I almost caught up to him, and catching up to him on the track would have meant bouncing off of him and ending up back in the village. So I ducked out of there, I jumped out of the cart. All right, now, we need this guy in here. Yo, dude. Oh, no, not again. I am never going to catch him when he hits that powered rail on the slope. All right, I'm going to bring him back again. And this time, as I approach, I am going to shut off this last powered rail. As a matter of fact, I'm going to shut it off now. No, not this one. Yeah. I'm going to turn this one off. That way, if I happen to bump him up that way again, and it occurs to me, he's having a problem getting up there. So, let's take... Uh, let's take one of these doors down. Take two of them down, even. All right, now he should have no problem getting in there. And I'll even put down another rail. Although I'm asking for trouble with that. All right. I am off to recapture our reluctant villager one more time. You'd think that he would feel privileged. After all, he is the first villager to ever visit the spawn area and be in the neighborhood of the main base. He's the very first one. Whoa, what do we got here? Um, I jumped out because I looked up and I saw a villager standing right here. Okay. That was peculiar. Must have been some kind of a glitch. That being the spot that he went and passed out of render distance. Anyway, I'm off to the village to go get him again. Well, look what I found. And I just managed to turn this power rail off just in time in case he managed to go far enough. All right, get up there. I don't know why you turned around, but you shouldn't have. Because I turned off a powered rail up there. He should have stayed right there on that rail. Okay. Let's turn this one off, too. And that one. You. We're turning this one off, too. Why are you continuing to move when I turn that rail off? That's supposed to act like a brake. Have I ever mentioned how much I really hate villagers? This would be a big chunk of why. This kind of thing. All right. Oh, you son of us. You managed to keep going? 
How is he doing that? All right. This sorry SOB is going to end up all the way back at the village again. I'm going to get him in place. I've got all those rails up there on the top turned off. He can't do this again. And, uh, you know something? I'm going to go back there, and not only am I going to turn those rails off, I'm going to break some of them. Uh, that would be a problem. I know what I'll do. Multiple powered rails turned off should act as a considerable break. Just like multiple powered rails turned on will give you a real boost. I guess he's doing the villager equivalent of pressing W, which is managing, managing to allow him to move anyway. Okay. I think I see the problem now. The rails that I turned off, I need to turn them back on. So that he goes down into the spot prepared for him. And then as I approach, before I get near him, I need to turn rails off. And better yet, break these trail these rails behind him so that he can't come back up. That's what I'll do. I'll shut this stuff off and break some rails as I approach before I get near him while he's still sitting down there. In fact, this is going to make things a little bit more of a pain in the butt, placing these doors back. But this way his cart will go off the rail. All right. I'm after the reluctant villager one more time. So, how you doing? Where's the minecart? Really now? Yeah? Where's the minecart, bud? What'd you do with it? You know, we can't have this. You should feel privileged. You really should. And yet you stand there with this smug look on your face. And you still haven't answered where the heck is the minecart. Well, now it's like he's not there. This is peculiar. I wonder if he really is there. Perhaps I should relog. Well, apparently he wasn't here. He sure looked like he was here. He responded to getting swatted once. So now to see if he's actually at the village where he should be. All right, here we go. Turn that off, break that, break this, break that. Uh, okay, fine. Now, are you going to cooperate? I do need to place some doors down here. And you are not going anywhere.
Okay, I need you out of the way. I don't suppose I can place a door with him there. Hey, how about that? All right. I no longer care how good it looks. All right. He's there. And as far as I'm concerned, he can keep the minecart. They're cheap. And now I need to get some more of this structure built. And then I need to route two more villagers into it. And I'll check in next time with some progress and hopefully a working villager spawner. I certainly hope so after going through all this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.